the Tokyo Motor Show, Nissan displayed a concept electric autonomous crossover that has a pair of motors, a large battery built into the floor, 429 horsepower, and 700 newton meters of torque. They call it the IMX, and it has a range of almost 400 miles per charge. According to the company, the IMX can be wirelessly charged, and it includes a future iteration of Nissan's ProPilot assisted driving technology. ProPilot uses a combination of radar, a camera, and sensors to read lane markings. Right now, it can handle the highway or stop and go traffic, but you can't like lean back and enjoy a good book. It actually, I mean, it actually does have some trouble reading lanes in less than ideal conditions. But who knows? Maybe you will be able to nap once the IMX is in production. A current version of the ProPilot is gonna hit the streets when Nissan's 2018 Rogue is released in October 2017. According to an article from Mashable, the company stated that the IMX could even connect to local power grids to push electricity onto the network. <laughs> well done! Engineers continue to look for ways to not only make concrete stronger, but to lower the environmental impact of concrete production. The industry is one of the largest producers of man-made CO2 emissions in the world. Researchers from the University of British Columbia are adding polymer fibers to make the concrete earthquake proof, but they're also replacing up to 70% of the cement with coal ash. And engineers from the same university are also using shredded tires to make a stronger mix and also limit the number of tires and landfills. I mean, it is apparently a very environmentally friendly university up there in British Columbia. God, yeesh! Well, not to be outdone, MIT students have found yet another way to kill two polluting birds with one stone by taking old plastic bottles and using it to make a stronger, more flexible concrete. The students aren't exactly tossing shredded bottles into the hoppers and calling it a day. Their process exposes small plastic flakes to low doses of gamma radiation and then pulverizes them into a fine powder that is mixed in with the cement. According to the researchers, the new concrete is up to 20% stronger than conventional materials. The team is only replacing 1.5% of the concrete with irradiated plastic, but the new mix is not only stronger, but it could have an immediate impact on global carbon dioxide emissions. The researchers are now working with different plastics to see how they impact concrete structural properties. <laughs> well done! This is an Eastern Bard Bandicoot! Also this week at the Tokyo Motor Show, Yamaha unveiled what it is calling a leaning multi-wheeler. Who knew that a hybrid bike could be called something less sexy than a trike? A multi-wheeler. I just gotta jump on my leaning multi-wheeler and I'll be out of here. The multi-wheeler runs off of a liquid-cooled inline three-cylinder engine, and it's designed to give drivers more stability when taking corners. They call it the Nikon, and the body is designed with two 15-inch front wheels and a new front-end suspension. Details are limited, but Yamaha promises more information will come live on the company's Facebook page on November 6th. Now, the Nikon wasn't the only vehicle making its debut at the show. Yamaha also introduced something called the Tritown, which is essentially like a scooter Segway hybrid that uses the same leaning multi-wheel technology. They also introduced the Motoroid, a battery-powered proof of concept that uses artificial intelligence to recognize its owner. And they also introduced the Motobot version two, the second generation of an autonomous motorcycle riding robot. Motobot is already riding stock motorcycles around test tracks at more than 120 miles per hour. And it even raced Moto Grand Prix star Valentino Rossi. Although, Rossi did come out on top. Now hold on a second. If the Motorbot got on the Motoroid, would the autonomous Motoroid recognize that Motobot was the rider? And then how would it respond? That's gonna be interesting. I'm David Manti. This is Engineering by Design. See you next week! <laughs> oh,